It's nothing but Guizzi Butter talking from the ATL. Hey, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Before we get into this video, make sure y'all hit the notification bell for the next stuff. Oh, yeah. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. Shout out to DJ Academics. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. Shout out to my boy Charles and White. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. They're blogging and blogging. Joe Budden, Drink Champ. Shout out to everybody. All right, let's get to this shit. Basically, what we doing, we breaking down what they talking about on the video. Let's go. First and foremost, welcome to another episode of Off the Record Podcast. We have um, one of the, uh, I don't even know if I should call him controversial, most hated. We just know we have one of the biggest mouths and also one of the most brilliant minds when it comes to, you know, the black culture and, of course, inner city communities who are speaking up on popular platforms right now. A lot of people know you from the YouTube platform, but we got Hassan Campbell back in the building. I believe this is your third time here. You're someone who have captivated the internet through giving just the raw, unfiltered, unadulterated truth about what we're seeing without the influence of all of the other things that usually make it okay. Whether it's monetary gain, whether it's these other things, you give it cut and straight. And I've seen the good in your content because whether you were speaking about things that I had nothing to do with or even when you were spoken about me, even if I didn't like it, I respected the fact that it was coming from a unbiased and a honest place. And DJ Academic right here is explaining how him and Hassan Campbell got into it, but he wasn't even tripping off of it because he knew Hassan Campbell was great. Let's go. You don't have to agree with everything that's said about you, but you don't want it to come from a place where people are trying to, you know, uh, purport or distort you to be something else. So I've always respected you as that. Um the last time you were in this building, very interesting situation. I'm thinking about the last time he was there. He was there when WAC 100 was there in 69. I think that's it. What are you talking about? We got a bunch of people in here now. I think about like 20 at least. But last time it was in here, it was a, it was a little hazy. I feel like everybody was smoking all. I remember I was like, these cameras still going to work. But it was interesting. It was me, you, WAC 100, Takashi 69. We're all sitting around a table. A lot of other people that were surrounding, people that you came with, people that Takashi came with. Of course, Wack was here and myself. And um, that was internet viral history, but it was a cross-section of everything. It was a cross-section between what internet saw as culture and music. It was a cross-section between the streets and also street politics. It was a cross-section between so many different things, and I felt fortunate to be able to somewhat moderated and basically academics are saying he's happy as hell that he got to narrate the situation between these three i'm so glad to have you back here because you're here with the whole cast of characters who have lived these experiences i'm sure you're going to introduce us to everyone here um i do want to start off by saying and kind of asking you about when that infamous last interview that happened here what did you take away from it? Because that was a hell of a day. This next picture right here shows Hassan Campbell and his squad in the building. So, yeah, he brought his people. He came clicked up, you know what I'm saying, ready to get it popping. But, you know, only to talk. You know, But just in case it jump off, he had his goons in the building. And I know some of your, some of your, your homies here definitely could chime in. So, you know, if y'all want to talk, just hop on the mic at all. Well, you got, I know you're not talking to the mic. You grab that mic. You grab it. <laughs> the, last, the, the last interview we had was, it was, it was kind of crazy because it left me with a lot of thoughts, right? Because under one breath, I was like, okay, this was epic. All I kept doing and saying, I was just admiring. I've never looked at a man teeth. The way that I looked at whack 100 teeth. The nigga was smiling. Like, yo, he was smiling. And I, all I kept saying was like, yo, how can I get my teeth to look like this nigga's teeth? <laughs> That's funny as hell. So he wanted to see how he can get his smile like that. Well, you can get it now. You're making enough money now, bro. You can go get that smile. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to whack 100 and his smile, I guess. You know, let's go. Yeah, I see his smile right here on this, on this picture. Would you like to have a smile like whack 100? He was like, "Yeah, I spent the grip on these teeth." Like, and I'm like, "Yo!" And that that was the that was the the, the 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 vibe was like, it was a good vibe. There was no disrespect in the room. Like he said, it was. It was like I really, really felt like, "Yo!" 
then my, my, my brother, he felt like, yo, this is going to be, it's going to be a good thing. We're going to move forward and we're going to do some things together. Next day, the nigga on the internet talking about, yeah, you know what I mean? I told that nigga he got f by Bam. Like, nigga, if you would have said that, if he would have said that to me in front of my face, on camera or not on camera, he would have died on that camera. Well, let's talk white 100. We glad he ain't say nothing to Hassan Campbell on that camera because he would have been a dead man. And quote unquote what Hassan Campbell said, but good uh, Hassan Campbell didn't kill him because he wouldn't be here talking right now. So let's keep it going. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know what situation he's talking about, he was sexually assaulted by someone he looked up to as a father figure, mentor, and all of that. And we don't big none of this up. So it was about uh, when he had got molested when he was a young man by African Bambada. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish that on nobody. Let's go. Yo, it's so interesting because I remember when I was trying to figure out where everyone sat. And I'm like, all right, well, it makes sense. 6 9 sits here. I'm going to sit here. Some of his homies was around. Yeah, but Wax sat right here. Yeah. Back was it against the wall. And he kept me saying, he said, if you notice, I kept my hand inside the pocket. Like well, I don't see no hand in his pocket, but he sure said it. But you see on this picture, there's no hand in his pocket. Stop the violence. Keep going. Like, did you notice? All, because I'm going to be honest with you. He hand inside his pocket. But oh. What difference do it make? Because the reality of it is, it was it wasn't that kind of environment. Mm. His hand. Being, That's what I'm thinking. Too. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't that kind of environment. Like, uh, 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 listen, I'm saying, I'm saying, all of us, we got legal shooters with us. F FBI, we don't carry guns. We got legal shooters. So our legal shooters would have legally tore his ass up in this room if it would have been a problem. Yeah. It, so what do you mean by legal shooters? He got people who are with him who's licensed to carry. Licensed to carry. They mean. They can shoot you if you do the wrong thing. But it's all about protection. Keep going. So the, the narrative went out. And you see, somebody like me who I don't want to be in the middle of these things, but I got to also be the center of truth, right? I don't want I don't want nobody to come in here and feel like, because now it's going to be a war that started from, from my room, and, and I didn't bring nobody here to start a war. So I got to be some type of the arbiter of truth, you know, I've still maintained this. I've told Wack to his face, and I've, I've always said this. I don't believe there was any inclination, or any anything in the air that said there is a threat of violence, whether to you or to him. I think we're having a good conversation. Um, he, of course, says that you know, you know, because I'm not from the street, I didn't get it. Um, I know some of your some of your peoples was here with you, and. Listen, the footage, the behind the scenes footage, man, shows him giving niggas the biggest hugs. But I guess that's what Jay Z say, niggas will show you love. That's how they fool thugs. Before you know it, you lying in the pool of blood. When he was in our presence, he wasn't that West Coast whack one hundred that was sitting in Brooklyn acting like he was looking for Mano. He was not that. But then even after the fact, he did not show up at on, on K Slade's funeral. Uh, okay. His right hand man, you didn't show up at that funeral, son. <clears throat> just keeping it, just keeping it funky, and let's keep it all the way funky. After that ass whooping that I gave him on this internet, he ain't never been the same. What? The, res the respect, nobody respects him. Before me and him clashing and going at each other, street niggas, the nigga had to. I'm not going even front. For me, to, from from my perspective. The nigga had the whole New York shook. All really? them, the whole, all them industry niggas was shook. They wouldn't even mention that nigga name. After me, the nigga got Charleston White. He got everybody playing. Nobody even, nobody respects him now. It's like once you see the bully get knocked out, everybody wants to fight now. And that's what happened with Wack. So he still got his little, his little clubhouse thing. But the reality of it is, when he came onto the big stage on YouTube, he couldn't swim with the big fish, the big dogs. Basically, Hassan Campbell saying he didn't have a physical fight with him, but he had an argument on YouTube. He beat him out, knocked him out KO when it comes to that. He basically saying Wack 100 can't stand up against the YouTube blogging world, which him and uh, DJ Academic control. And keep going. So try to help me explain or understand because so when we left that building and we left this building, and I remember being excited and saying we did some great content here and whether we agreed on everything or disagreed on everything discourse happened and hopefully people who are consuming this behind these cameras and on this internet and by the way 
don't know if I ever told you, like, 20 plus million people. 20 million people watched the video. Wow, wow, wow. Saw that. 20 plus million people saw that. Wow. Consumed over 65 million times. Mm. Ridiculous amount of numbers. But people watched that and, and, and everybody had to take, you know, whether they're a civilian, whether they're a street dude, whether they were, they had to be like, you know what? I understand here. I hear this argument. And that's what I wanted to have discourse. It wasn't supposed to be one person, whatever, but I want to know where it went left because when we all left, I remember everyone talking out there. It was like, yo, whatever. You and Wack was talking about possibly doing other things together. Where did shit go left, dog? Around that time, a lot of people was online saying that Wack 100 allegedly is something like an extortionist. Like he didn't extort you uh, to come up, to get in his game, to give you the knowledge, kind of sort of type stuff, put, put protection around you or whatever, kind of like what extortion is. You know, you, you pay me, I'll watch your back, I'll make sure nobody mess with you or whatever, but Hassan Campbell ain't going for that shit. Let's go. Keep going. I personally believe, because I had to sort this out, I was like, all right, should I kill this nigga academics? Did he line me up? You thought I... Wait, I, you, I, I had, no, 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 let me finish. Wait, you thought I lied? Let me finish. Let me finish. My, see, my whole thing was no, like... No, no, y'all gonna have to get on camera. I said, I said... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta get on the mic. Wait, yeah. I thought I lied you? See, my whole thing was... I me. had to zero. I had to narrow things out, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm a street nigga for real. Okay. And my whole thing is like, okay, so I crossed you out because I'm like, act don't really know. Then I'm like, okay, but I nothing happened. Here. If something happened then here, I, then I, I would take blame. Then I, then if, I any, if anything happened here, I would like I would probably be going above and beyond because I would never like that. That's one of the things I take super pride in. If I invite somebody here, like I invited you here, if anything happened to you before you leave, really even this town, I feel responsible for. Whether or not, it really was me. But see, here's the rules of the streets, though, right? Okay. When something happens in my house or your house, you are responsible. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So in the, it's just the code of the streets. Yeah. Like That's like the situation that we'll get into a little bit later. Yeah. With, with, the, with the Jay Prince situation. Yeah, that's facts. If somebody coming, if you bring somebody to your house or in your neighborhood or uh, wherever, if you take somebody somewhere and, and you tell them it's going to be all good and it don't be all good, it's for, for sure your fault. For sure. When, when Quavo and take off, you in my house, you're responsible for everything that went down. So now in our situation mm -hmm. where my thing, I had to narrow down, like, hold up, something wasn't right. So the first question I had was, we on camera. Where did all them? Where did all them guys come from? Why did Takashi have all them them gang members with him? I kid you not, I had no idea. And I'm like, it didn't even make any sense that he put them all on camera. I kid you not, I had no idea. And then I'm sitting up there saying, okay, so you got all these gang members, they all on camera, and now we having a conversation, and as we go along in the conversation, all my dudes is in the background, and. I kind of felt like I wasn't supposed to call him a rat to his face. And for some reason, Wack was kept kept trying to save him for certain conversations that I was trying to have. Yeah, uh, I feel like Wack 100 is, uh, you know, he was trying to protect Takashi 69 at the time because if you remember it was a room out that he had did a bunch of work with Takashi 69 and he was uh he made a bunch of money he had I forget what platform he's on but Wack 100 was like yeah I got so many millions from or oh, you think I'm doing something for free just to be working with a like a rat or whatever it may be you know he was the first one that everybody was kind of like ah oh, and that because he was the first one trying to jump on the the uh the money bandwagon because uh to get some of that money from 69 because nobody else would touch him at the time and now you got people like uh, Funk Flex. I don't want to get off the thing, but Funk Flex say he even playing his music now. So I wonder what's up with that. But let's get back to the show. Let's go. With him. Yeah. I don't understand that anyway. It's like he, did, he didn't want me to steal the show. But what, what it was is I'm like, they, okay, so. They, they had some prior. They, they were cool prior, and I think they were doing some business. So. Well, pop, pop, pop. Well, no, hold on. You know, he grabbed it. I feel I know where you're going because I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, go ahead. I know exactly where you're going. So all that commotion you just heard just now, that was uh, I'm gonna put up a picture right here, and this the you know uh Hassan Campbell goons 
OG's friends. Let me just not say goons. His brothers from another. They about to do do a little bit of talking to you know. Um, I feel when we came here, um, mm-hmm. the first thing I asked Poppy, I said, when you did academic show the first time, who yeah. did you come with? He said, nah, just me and my man. I said, well, did Wack ask you that? When Hassan came before, who who he was with? Was he deep? Was he like, nah, he just came. This is how we talked about it. Yeah. Because to me, it felt like, all right, Poppy Hassan is going to come back the same way. And, and Takashi going to come deep so they could try to punk him. That's how I looked at it. Well, the only thing I would say, though, Takashi put me on to, to her son. Right. I had no idea Takashi was coming that deep, right? right? Takashi's like, yo, we're waiting for a sprinter. Remember, we're all here. Yeah, like, we're waiting yeah, for a sprinter. Sprint, like, yeah. what the fuck you're waiting for a sprinter for? Mm-hmm. He showed up, and then I'm hearing there's niggas on niggas. Then I'm hearing, like, I heard the next day he knows because the building we're in, they came up and they said... One thing about DJ Academics, he gonna tell you how it is. But yeah, I, I honestly believe DJ Academics didn't know that he was gonna pull up with the goons. So I don't really think that he tried to set Hassan Campbell up. Do you think he tried to set Hassan Campbell up? What do y'all think? I don't even want to mention. They were like, "Oh, girls came this that." And th-. I'm like, "What the fuck? Right. No idea that it should happen." Right. So I'm not expecting him to show up dolo, mm-hmm. right? But I'm expecting maybe like a couple of dudes, right? Right? I'm thinking maybe five. The amount of people he showed up with, and also his thing, I've never seen him do this before. Exactly. I oh, speak oh, to him. Oh, we gonna get to that. I exactly. speak to him a good amount. I've right. never seen him before. Right. That- boy, me and academics, we gotta work together, boy. He said, I never seen them. <laughs> academics, y'all is crazy. Making sure that nigga know, like, I ain't have nothing to do with that. I ain't trying to set you up. Period. Yeah, nigga crazy. I, the first thing I asked him, like, yo. Who you came with last time? Because the way they came in here was like, to me, it was like a conspiracy between him and Wack. Like Wack. Okay. Like, yeah. I'm a- so, so, so you guys give me the game because there was a lot of stuff outside of this. Mm-hmm. What was the energy? I don't notice the energy. I'm in here. I'm in here with y'all. I'm laughing. I'm over here drinking even more because I'm like, everybody I know, I have no issue with is right, in here. Right. But I don't know what the the the, the energy outside. Right. What is that? Because you tell me. When, when, when- When we came, remember, I was sitting in the back in the cut. Yeah. Our man's and I was sitting in the cut. My other man's and I was sitting out there filming, whatever, whatever. So when they came in, the first thing they did was look around. Like, all right, who we with? Like, so when they seen, like, all right, then they look, they like, all right, like, hold on. Okay, he in here a little deeper. But he ain't with young dudes. He with older dudes. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe, man, before we go any farther. I just don't know. I just think Takashi 6 9 was just trying to protect himself. But... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute, though. Let's keep the interview going. So we might have to, like, chill because, yeah. to me, that's what it felt like, that they was going to have an opportunity to do something nobody else other, other did is try to punk him. You know what I'm saying? Because when Wack, when, we, when we got here, Wack was here. Oh, what's up? Yo, don't, don't I know you? Didn't I meet you with K-Slade before? I said, homie, you ain't never meet me with K-Slade before. He said that to you? Yeah. yeah. Wack was alone, though. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, everything is great. Like, if Wack shows up here, I'm fucking alone. Like, Wack and this is why I felt, I feel personally responsible. Wack, That's why I'm glad nothing happened. Wack because knew that Takashi was going to come, right? He knew Takashi was going to come with all them young boys, right? Mm-hmm. And they what they figured was I was going to be intimidated, and I wasn't going to call him a rat. Mm-hmm. I called him a rat. I called him. I said everything I wanted to say without Wack interrupting and trying to switch the narrative of the conversation. I said everything, and the key thing that he didn't like that I said is when I brought up Ish. Mm-hmm. Shout out to mm-hmm. Ish. Ish is home right now. Mm-hmm. The, you know, the, the driver that didn't do nothing. You t- Wack was like, why you brought him up? See, mm-hmm. see? Yeah, he said he was upset at that. Yeah, I get yeah, it. He got upset, but then, like I said, the next day he tried to turn it around. Oh, yeah, Ish out there asking a the nigga to give him money for his kids. Did the energy change it? Because, as I said, I feel like I was so lit and also just in the conversation. I'm not seeing because... A lot of people is like, right. all I yeah. see is smoke. Mm-hmm. Is, 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 now, is the energy is, I'm changing? Gonna you, I'm going to tell you what happened, right? I'm going to tell you what happened, right? At first, I guess, common sense started kicking in with my brother out there. Yeah. Yeah, everybody uh, is trying to protect themselves. That's all this is. That's all it is. Everybody trying to protect themselves. Everybody going to be gooning up and looking up. There's a lot of money in the room. Because only the only ones that was in the room yeah. was DK 
And um, that's it. Then after a while, all my niggas started coming in the room behind them. Mm -hmm. So it was like, okay, it balanced out. And then I started seeing the body language back and forth with Takashi, with, the, with, 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 with his dudes or whatever. Now, for me, I could only put together my theory. But what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing is, it was like, okay, so I wasn't supposed to be man enough. And I'm not really this ill nigga that's going to say what I say on camera in these niggas' faces. I did that. And I also said to, to Takashi, and I asked the question that he never answered. Still to this day. I said, if your niggas and my niggas start backing out on each other in this room right now, because I was testing the waters, are you going to tell? What did he say? Why can't let him answer? Why can't let him answer? He ain't let him answer the question. Why can't let him answer? He ain't let I guess he didn't want him to be considered a rat times two. <laughs> DJ Academics silly as fuck, man. This nigga always my heat green. Nigga, you ain't that damn green. You from the ghetto too, nigga. The question that everybody knows okay, but no, no, I'm gonna sound dumb green. I'm gonna sound dumb green. I can tell you, you know, this is why I'm academics. This is, don't kill me, though. This is why I'm academics. <laughs> no, but, no, but, 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 what, what I'm saying is, is it possible because. Say, I'm, I'm, remember, I'm green. So I'm believing him. He said the only reason why he told on the guys, right, is because they fucked his baby moms, kidnapped them. These new guys ain't fucked his baby moms or kidnapped them. He not telling on them. Mm. But homie, the homie, the homie. Now, look, you know the homie. the what and lift the what. You know the homie that he's supposed to say, fuck his baby moms. Yo, what's up? I'm not even lying. Like, wait, hold up. But you know, you know the homie that he's supposed to say that fucked his baby moms. But they, wait, he said he did it because they fucked his baby right, moms. The same dude that he said fucked his baby moms did an interview. Yeah, I I, yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I never Can fucked I, your baby. No, nah, yeah. What happens to you, right? Yeah. Who you gonna blame? Him or your baby mom? I will blame the baby moms. I ain't gonna lie. I've always said to him, and I still say, I still say this. She gave it up. She no, gave it up. I've always said, I do believe that, you know. And, and I feel like I've always just been really honest about that situation. I remember when I first I, I met him very early on while he was doing that. And I went back to where his hometown was and he was kicking it with his friends. That wasn't blood, none of that. Hold up, Ak. Hold up, hold up, hold up. One question. Because <laughs> now that you got you, you, you got you got dudes of yeah. a certain caliber that the, the OGs, like real OGs in the yeah. room. The reason why I forgave Takashi why? for his treason it's because those two niggas right there, those all these niggas over here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You would have never seen Takashi. What yo? You would have never seen Is Mac the brother over. You would have never seen Takashi giving them orders and carrying shit out like that. Cause you know why? Behind the scenes, he would Mac would have grabbed him by the back of his neck, pushed his head into the wall, smacked him, and told him shut up. Hold on. That's a great point, amazing point. However, I'm ch uh, it, again. Remember, I'm green, so right, y'all gotta right. y'all gotta forgive me for any dumb questions I ask. <laughs> okay, that's, that's my way out, people. Okay, no, no. So I say that to say, right? Um, you, you're absolutely right about that. But I think we do also have to realize when it comes to rap and rap involving with street culture, shit started to change when. Like, Takashi had gotten a lot of money, and these dudes weren't getting money. Bingo. Now, they they mean, weren't getting money. It's not like they, were, they, they could be like, hold yo, up, man, fuck the amount of money you about to give us. This so is how you about to so come back. See, here's the difference now. At some point in time, when you, when you sit down with these brothers and you do an interview with them, and you talk about what these brothers was locked up for and what they was known for, niggas was getting money. Niggas was getting money. So you can't sit up there and impress a nigga that's getting money with more money. Okay. You can't sit up there. Oh, and, and this is why when you see a lot of this gang culture, culture today is being compromised because the streets are starving. Niggas ain't, yo, everybody's a rapper now. The drug dealers done disappeared, which is cool because the smart ones is like, okay, we in the cover right now because all the rappers going to jail. Mm. Y'all niggas go to jail, keep the heat off us. Niggas that get money. Would have never fell into that little shit that happened with Takashi Six Nine. Niggas that was getting money would have sat up there and said, "Okay, I'm the CEO. 
This is what you gonna do. Get your ass on stage and we ain't fucking this bag up. You ain't gonna take a nigga of these calibers that's now they having sex on different islands, on different planes getting blowjobs, and that we going to jail? How you corrupt legal money? How you take legal money and make it illegal? Now, at some point in time when you when you sit down with these brothers and you do an interview with them and you talk about what these brothers was locked up for and what they was known for, niggas was getting money. Niggas was getting money. So you can't sit up there and impress a nigga that's getting money with more money. Okay. You can't sit up there. Oh, and, and this is why when you see a lot of this gang culture, culture today is being compromised because the streets are starving. Niggas ain't, yo, everybody's a rapper now. The drug dealers that disappeared, which is cool because the smart ones is like, okay, we in the cover right now because all the rappers going to jail. Mm. Y'all niggas go to jail, keep the heat off us. Niggas that get money would have never fell into that little shit that happened with Takashi 6 9 Niggas that was getting money would have sat up there and said, okay, I'm the CEO. This is what you're going to do. Get your ass on stage and we ain't fucking this bag up. You ain't going to take a nigga of these calibers that's now they having sex on different islands, on different planes getting blowjobs, and that we going to jail? How you corrupt legal money? How you take legal money and make it illegal? Let me let me give you a perfect example. Pop. <clears throat> all right, all right. I come do your interview. Mm -hmm. Me and you, me and you end up having a good bond. Yeah, yeah. Right? We fuck with each other. We hang out with I call you my yo, come to the Bronx, come chill with me. Yeah. You come chill with me, right? Now you say, I'm green. Green. You green. You said that when we came to like, listen, I'm not into none of that. Something happened to me, nigga, I'm going to tell. I'm green. <laughs> you green, said man. that. Now, <laughs> I, know, listen, you now. <laughs> I know that you said that. I know that you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, good. So I'm now, boom, we out. You come right, see cool. me. We chilling. <laughs> me, 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 me and them are, we get in the car with you. We got guns on us. Yeah, yeah. Right? You get pulled over. They find a the gun. Why would we get in the car with you and we know what type of person you are? I'm going to be honest, though. And, and, and this is this is where personal experience is going to come in. Because I've been around, especially some of the guys who Takashi did get locked up with. Like Shadi and them, right? I'm going to be honest. They did know and they had a sense of, like, you know, understanding. When academics come around, let's keep the bullshit to the minimum because he's not one of us. So I... He was basically saying niggas in Treyway wasn't uh, having having it. When DJ Academic came around, when Takashi brought DJ Academic around, they was like, man, hide your shit, hide your guns, hide your everything. You know what I'm saying? This snitch-ass nigga in here. They was basically looking at DJ Academics as the snitch nigga, not one of them niggas. And DJ Academics would tell you he a snitch nigga, so I ain't snitching. Gotta believe they thought Takashi was one of them. No, they, they, they weren't. It's not like they were like, yo, we wildin' no matter who's here. Like, when I came around, they're like, okay, let's make sure this is what he sees. This is whatever he's seen. He smiles and handshakes and daps. Mm -hmm. He ain't seen the treacherous shit. Let me, right, act, let what, me what, show you what, the what? difference. Hold up. Right? See around me? Like, with Takashi's situation, what I heard about those young boys that left this, this that left here, I, some of their mamas got beat up when they went back to Brooklyn. <laughs> That ain't happening. No, it did. Yeah, not only, hold up. Not only, not only, no, hold up. Act. Not only, not listen, act, 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 act. Listen, act. Not only, listen. Quote, unquote, somebody's mama got beat up. I don't condone them beating up mamas and all of that, so I feel like you niggas weak for beating up niggas' uh, mamas, but anyway, he's saying that Takashi 69 some of the cats that was up there with him, they mama got whooped on, jumped on after they left that place, uh, after they left DJ Academic Show. I guess the city was listening. Uh, not only did... Not only, listen, act, 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 act. Listen, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me, act. Not only did it get bad, but Billy Otto went to Brooklyn. 
did a lot in their projects, daring them to come outside, and they called the police on him. So, if you don't know who Billy Otto is, he with Trey Way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and he's a run around with six nine, you know what I'm saying? Big blood or whatever it may be, uh, on the scene. But let's listen to what Hassan Campbell was talking about when he uh, did a live. What I want y'all to realize, everybody not gonna act the same or react the same to situations. So we ain't promoting violence on this channel, but we just showing you how some people actions are different, you know. You taking a different action. And I'm giving you the exclusive live video, so just bear with me and just watch it all the way through. It's like nine minutes long. Why niggas not outside? Why niggas not outside? Everybody shit alive. See, this is what I was telling y'all. This is what I was telling y'all. First, I'm gonna show y'all Flushing Avenue. I'm gonna show y'all Flushing Avenue, you feel me? This is Flushing Avenue, you feel me? Y'all niggas know I got it on me too. This is Flushing, out here. Right here is the street. Right here is where they made this video at. You feel me? None of these niggas is on none of that. None of these niggas is not outside in their own hood. You see what I'm saying? These niggas hood, where they at? Where? They, where? Come around the corner. Pull, pull around, pull around the other side. Niggas is not outside. Niggas is not outside. Yo, Fluff, I'm out here dolly. Why niggas is not outside? Niggas came for five minutes. This is the hood. This is outside right here. Niggas came for five minutes. You feel me? Stood up right here for five fucking minutes. Stood right here for five minutes and drove off right there and left. Y'all see the scenery right here? It's only a suggestion. It don't make you pussy if you don't do it, but I wouldn't suggest nobody. They got rat right there on the, on the ground, but I wouldn't suggest nobody to go to nobody hood looking for them like that. No bulletproof vest by yourself. I mean, Billy a goon, so apparently this he's just showing you like he don't give a fuck. Keep watching the video, man. Then we don't get back to the scheduled program. It's not in their hood. These niggas is not in their hood. Where they at? Why they not in their hood? Where y'all at? This 811 flushing, right? What niggas not spinning for? Why I'm not getting shot? Why I'm over here? Why I'm over here? Why I'm not getting shot? Why I'm over here and I'm not getting shot? I done drove around five times. I'm about to get back in the car, y'all, and I'm gonna drive around. I'm gonna show y'all out here. These niggas came right here, did a fucking video. Feel me? Kids, don't try what Billy doing at home uh, in the projects or in the, in the stairway at all. But I'm pretty sure this is probably a piece of the video where the police was like, he look like he got something in his pocket. Yeah, because he, this video is out here. So, this is crazy. Keep going. Did a video right here with a bunch of pussy ass niggas and drove off right here by the street. Y'all see the street. I'm going to show y'all the street. I done walked around this bitch ass shit four times. Nobody outside in this hood. How these niggas the hood? How these y'all hood? How this y'all hood? Why y'all not in y'all hood, boy? Why y'all not outside? Why they not outside? Briscoe. Yo, Briscoe. What I want my comments. Why these niggas not outside, boy? Fans, people that just stopped through to know when you look at these videos, and if you're looking at this part, and it, if you're a rapper, if you're a street dude, whatever you claim to be, be real to yourself first and foremost. But you see how he implemented the other guy? So he put him right into this mix, even though he's not there. He called his name. Why they not outside? These niggas came out here. Hey, yo. These niggas not outside. The street is right here. So if you made the video right here, you could easily run, get in your car, and drive straight down the street. Everybody see what's going on? For the people who don't understand, niggas is pussy. Niggas was not out here doing nothing. But it's all right. It's all right. 
Nobody tripping. Niggas is gonna catch these niggas. These niggas probably drove down this block. These pussy ass niggas probably went down here and drove down this side. So easy to, to, to do this video. I don't wanna make it hot. I got it on me. And I don't wanna put these up. Yo, Briscoe, these niggas suck. Pussy. Niggas came out here, did a video mad early in the morning, like 8 o'clock in the morning, drove to the street, drove off and spent. I done drove around this shit five times. Nobody outside, boy. Why well, you, you not outside buy. in your own hood? Why, I heard niggas was in Brooklyn. Why niggas not out in Brooklyn? Why niggas not out here in Brooklyn? Don't let the internet fool y'all. Do not let the internet fool y'all. All right? Niggas do not be outside. Niggas yeah, out here. This is not these niggas' hood. This is not these niggas' project. These niggas' name don't ring. No bells over here. They Nobody know early, these boy. niggas. Like, niggas pussy. Niggas came over here. I'm going to show y'all where they came. Niggas is so pussy. I'm going to show y'all one more time. I got to get off live because I got something to go do right now. You heard? Let me tell you how pussy these niggas is. These niggas came right here 8 o'clock in the morning. Nobody was out here. Did a video right here. Really, though? We did. He did. Really, though? See what I'm saying? Right, you know, see right, right here, and you know it ain't no riding going did on. Did a video a right call. here, pussy ass niggas, and drove right here. See, y'all don't see the street. This is for all my people who don't really know, like, like these areas, or, or who don't really know, like this hood, or what's going on, or what's going on. Niggas not outside. This your hood? This your hood? No. Oh, you ain't from out here? Niggas ain't out here. Okay, he asked the man, was he from there? Of course he probably just live there because he ain't no gangster uh billy blood uh okay we gotta get it together huh i don't know what's going on but yeah children don't try this at home let's keep going all right you see niggas outside though tell them billy auto outside they looking for me you heard these niggas is pussy these these niggas hood these bitch ass niggas came did a video and, and, and ran to the street. For all my people who don't know how it look, you see the street, you see I'm parked right there. I could drive off. If I was in that car, I could have did a video. I could have brought my, my ass over here, a couple of niggas over here, my security over here, everybody watching, do a little video, and then he clapping like a duck, dumb, dumb, dickhead, broke ass nigga, and then drive off on the street, and 10 minutes later, and nobody see me. You see what I'm saying? These niggas not outside in their whole hood. I done drove around this shit four or five times. Like, who projects is this? This is not no gangster ass projects. So don't be confused. Like, some gangster ass shit happened or some gangster ass shit occurred over here. These. Is it outside? And there's mad little kids over here. There's mad kids over here. There's mad Spanish people and good people over here enjoying their life. Snuck out here, some people keep calling me. They snuck out. Get the fuck out of here. I see another nigga standing across the street. All right. Niggas ain't you know, on nothing. I'll be back around. I got something to do. I got something really important to do. A family event or a matter. So. But, again. I'm going to show y'all, niggas ain't on nothing. You could run right here and get in the street and drive up the street and you'll be uh, right on the main road. Early in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, who's outside? Look at the people who are walking past right here. Oh, man. These is not no gangster project. This is 811. Y'all see it? For all the people who don't see it. That's 811, right? 811. Flush kids people doing shit for me 811 flushing niggas is not on no timing niggas is not on no timing i cut i i, I cut half of it off man a little bit of a video off i know it says nine minutes but if you see right here at this end man oh, shit. he oh, said something about oh damn there are the cops oh it's a lot of cops it's, he say it's a lot of 12 or whatever I guess it's when he went to jail, man. Y'all, don't try this at oh, home, man or kids. Don't try this. 12 out here deep. Someone down 911. He got locked up the same day and went to jail. He's locked up for that same gun. Ooh. So after niggas, I don't, Bully Auto went to.
to their hood. I seen the love. I was like, this he is... went to their hood, and niggas. I mean, and, and, and for me, you know, it's like I can't be mad at Book Billy Auto because he 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 he's repping his brothers, and he went to that hood. He went outside. He did niggas to and see my whole thing. There was ramifications oh, behind no, that. I didn't know that. second. Because let me talk to the camera for a second. Keep laughing at me, man. Rule number one for you niggas to understand, right? You cannot. You cannot, right? Some of this shit is entertainment, but Billy Auto. He in jail. What part you niggas don't understand? What, what you gotta understand about me, right? When niggas say that Hassan can't win outside, right? Every time I pull up a, with, at, at any event with any of my, with my niggas, I'm in a car by myself. Or with me. You, you see what I'm saying? Oh, my, but when I get there initially, because niggas be telling me I can't move like that, I'm by myself. Then me and my niggas move out. That's a fact. I'm in the malls by myself, daring a nigga like, okay, I, I had a situation in the mall where a nigga followed me to the staircase. Oh, my God. I led him to the staircase, too. Recently? Let him to, let him to the staircase. I led him to the staircase. When he got to the staircase... I would have ran. No. I told him I dare you. <laughs> no, I told him, nigga. I said, I dare you. I dare you to step foot on these steps. What's that? I dare you. That in the parking lot? In the parking, the parking lot. lot. I, I told him, nigga. I said, I, 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 I was there. I was, yo, I was taunting them because they had me They had me lined. There was one on the top and there was one on the bottom. So the one on the top and the one the one on the bottom standing right here. So they got me caught in a crossfire, right? And I told him, nigga, I dare you. When I was laughing, I dare you to step foot on these he, steps. He, he called me from the wall. I he, dare he, you. He's like, yo, I think two niggas are trying to lie. I man. dare you said, to I'm step foot. Back. I'm going to call you back. In I dare minutes, you to bro. step foot. I refuse to let a Westchester nigga rob me. <laughs> I refuse to let a Westchester nigga rob me in the mall. Not, not, not Wanda Campbell, son. Yo. <laughs> no, wait, hold on, no. <laughs> Wing. Yeah, yeah. Please don't take it. You let a nigga get the drop on you. Like, oh my God, Ack, I don't even think you understand. If niggas would have caught you, nigga, Ack, you would not. Stop it, I just bought this today. Nigga, stop you it. Look, you looking all pretty with that. I just bought this shit today, man. Shout out like to my nigga. jeweler, man. Like, yeah, Academics getting that money. Academics uh, been buying more jewelry lately. Y'all be seeing them iced out. Y'all check that boy out. Keep going. Let's say want to keep it in the box. Leave me alone. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. No. Wait. But this is why you gotta get it. Up. Hold on. This is why you gotta get it. Hold on. Hold on. But 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 but. While we're all here, and I'm glad you know, like you guys have been through some shit that clearly I probably would never go through, right? But also we gotta try to you know also educate like the youth who coming up who might be a little bit misinformed. Okay. Let's say okay somebody catch me down bad, gets this ring for me, right? Okay, it's appraised, it's got insurance on it. Yeah, they might be like, yeah, axe bitch, we took it from him. But I'm going to get the money back. You know what I mean? You see what DJ Academic said? Insure your valuables. Put insurance on your valuables. Yeah, food for thought. If, if I do something violent, we are in the tri-state area. Weapons, like we see a lot of people, like self-defense don't even exist out here. That's right. Right? You really can't even have a weapon most places. How do you... Ins Instruct that young man or young woman who's in this area probably saying, yo, I'm going with Hassan's on. Like, yeah, nigga ain't about to really you, take nothing from me. How do you do that? You got it. It's, Hold on. It, it, it's a catch-22 with that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you let somebody take your shit, you understand me? And then you go back outside again, they're going to know, like, yo, I could just take your shit. He ain't going to do nothing. So you're going to keep getting your shit taken every time. You understand me? So you got to stand up for something or do something or you don't wear it. You know what I mean? Keep it in the box. That's right. Because they're going to keep taking it. That's why so I got what you going to do? Florida, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Yes, I got to go to Florida, man. Bebo came through. What you got in your pockets? Right. Okay, so, so, all right. Again, I'm green. So, you see, I got to forgive me. So, he's in the mall. Niggas done lined him. They got to drop on him. He's not with everybody he's with here. He's not with y'all. Mm -hmm. Right? If, 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 he, like, go to the mall cop or call the police is... Hey, act in your own words, he'll be considered pussy. <laughs> What's up? Gotta get out of that, bro. It's Did still about survival. Say? Hold up. <laughs> you know, what? It's 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 what? What? No, I'm serious. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, I want you to understand something, right? At that point, you let don't me, know who's against me, you, though. Break, let me break something down to you, right? I'm a civilian right now. Good. Until you try to rob me. What? Wait, no, no, no. This is a civilian, right? I'm a civilian right now. Hey, give me a little more, Hedy. I don't know what you're talking about. This 
first thing you're yo, talking to double no, talk no, right no, now. No, listen, you listen, said listen. I'm a first, civilian first, right first now. First of all, right? Till, if you look at the videos with me crying on the internet, right? Yeah. My brother know me. They try to they try to act like you soft over that, listen, but I, listen, I see listen, pain. Listen, listen, listen. No, Matt, tell them niggas why I be crying on the internet. My son be out here lonely, man. He be missing his... No, he's being nice. He's, 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 he's being crying because like, he don't want to spoke I'm, somebody. I'm, 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 I'm crying, <laughs> crying because I'm not used to... Listen, because he don't no, want to spoke hold on, hold on, hold on. So Yeah, no, stop, stop him, stop him. Stop him, stop him. Please. He cries because he's like a vampire for blood. So he can't get blood. He wants blood. But he know he can't get blood. But he cries because he really want blood. I know him, but he's not that person no more. But he really cries because he really want to show niggas who he really is. But what's going to happen? Niggas act like they ain't never cried. Keep crying. Pressure bust pipes, man. It don't mean you won't kill nothing. Keep going. And remember, we're not promoting violence. Keep going. He don't got time for that. Because at the end of the day, he's going to lose. It's true. He's gonna lose. So I put out embedders in his head every day. He calls. I talk to him every day. How do y'all stop him? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Cause we on the sun right now. See that dude right there? I don't mean to incriminate my brother, but 1090 Jake told already about the jail. <laughs> no, oh, oh no, no, we gonna talk about no, 1090 Jake. No, the jail niggas. If you wasn't on a certain level, you wasn't around me. Now I learned to change because I learned to understand that a military had nurses and everything came along with it. But it's about changing. It ain't about staying the same. So, yeah, it's most definitely about growth. Keep growing. Keep going. In my, in my younger days, if you didn't have bodies up under your belt, you couldn't ride in the whip with me because you was going to get shot in that bitch. And when it went down, you ain't going to tell on me. You ain't gonna know them type of stories if you ain't from that type of shit. I can relate. Keep going. Remember, we're not promoting violence here. So it was a different caliber and a different time. When my brother was in jail, a lot of things that people wouldn't say on the outside, he would tell me, yo, I had a voice of reasoning, a nigga that be getting in my ass. And Pause on my camera and shit. Keep going. Even if I get mad at him sometimes, I know he's telling me for my best for my best interest because he ain't sending me on no dummy mission. A real OG ain't gonna put you on no dummy mission. A real OG gonna tell you to stay in school, get money, stay out the way. That's what a real OG gonna tell you what to do. Keep going. Yeah, mugs gonna ride for the cause. But if you gonna ride for a cause, make sure it's a real life cause. Don't just be out here riding on folks and doing all type of crazy stuff. Keep going. Reese will watch you crash and fall. And then sit up there and you be the headline. But when you got brothers that love you, they're going to pull you to the side and say, yo, you bugging. What he just said is facts. You know what I'm saying? If you got brothers who really care for you and down for you, they ain't going to want to see you crash and burn. So they most definitely going to pull you to the side and talk, try to talk you out of the situation. Like, man, you don't need to be doing that shit, man. You 100. I'm glad you said that. I, I want to hear for especially, you know what I mean? I feel like we got a lot of wisdom in here. A lot of people have been through it all. When we were in here, or or if you weren't here and you watched the video later, when we were in here with Takashi Six Nine, of course, Wack One Hundred, of course, Son Campbell, but those other individuals, and there was an individual, you know, he was a younger cat, right, and he was with Six Nine, and he basically, we all got laughed. I mean, I mean, I mean, that was his reasoning. But listen, I'm gonna put that skid on the record. Hmm? I'm gonna put that skid on the record because that's the ultimate. We don't jack, we don't jack <laughs> Hold on, but we jacking this one. Hold on, yeah, that's crazy. That's what, crazy. what did y'all think about that? Because, because, uh, let me tell you what I heard. That that was the catch line, and I think that's what everybody was was gonna latch on to. What I heard from him though, he said, "Man, we ain't got no options. Ain't nobody from our hood be putting up, putting us on. All the real niggas is ignored." Yeah, and I don't really think he said that out of disrespect. I remember watching the video. He probably. He he said it, but I don't think he was just saying it like to be like, oh, this only rat that take care of us. You know what I'm saying? Because I think the little dude, little brother, I think he called him a rat, called 6 9 a rat or some shit while he was doing it. But I don't think he just tried to say it like that. But yeah, man, they kids, man. Keep going. Get money. Us. This is the only nigga who's actually giving us some type of credit and giving us a chance. And yeah, they might have said he, rat he ratted, but right now, our situations is bigger than the no. fact that if somebody ratted. They, what do y'all think? Their situation is because this brother told him he can do something for him. Yeah. 
saying facts. Giving them money. Yeah. Feeding them. Yeah. At the end of the day, he just feeding them. But at the end of the day, he's going to leave them. But don't everybody want an opportunity? Hold up. Right, 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 right there, right there, right there. Right there. That's that spot right there. That's the G spot right there. Hold up. Hold up. Don't everybody hold want up. Hold up. Hold up. Academics, hold yeah. up. So now, hold, hold, Matt. He talking about the last time they had an interview. WAC 100, 6 9 was on uh on academic show and uh six nine had the, the little guys with him and the little guys was like just letting them know like we rocking with six nine because he the only option he what we got i know he just said that but i'm still telling you this and and i just feel like you know six nine do what he can for the people who be around him but of course he gonna have to leave because he's a superstar and they not so yeah, he's gonna for sure have to leave. He can't just stay around if if, if he's traveling, and I'm pretty sure he's not traveling with all of them all the time. So the little love that he showed them in that little bit of time, they supposed to took that and then uh and took that look, that little light they got shine on them, and, and and turned into a bigger light. That's what I think. Glad you said that, cause them same little niggas that turned their life upside down in Brooklyn. I'm watching Takashi Six Nine. Giving these hookers Birkin bags. He's buying a car. The pocketbook is a car for all these goddamn smuts. You ain't got to bring up the Birkins down. Yeah. yeah, yeah I seen that shit. Yeah, I seen that. So this nigga bought all these bitches Mercedes Benz's pocketbooks. They right? probably got a little Birkin too. Well, my whole thing, yeah, he bought all of them a Birkin. No, I'm talking about the, uh, the gangsters that, that came with them. They got Birkin too. No, 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 no. no. The gangsters that came with them. They got, they got a Birkin. Got, they got fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> each. That's something to them. Now nah, they at least got 50 bands. Listen, them little niggas. No, no, Y'all know them. Nah, nah, no, they're from Brooklyn. Nah, 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 they drive SRTs, everything. Hold on. But you gotta, under, yeah. you gotta understand, that's all for protection, bro. Yeah. That, that's all you think that's all protection? That's all for protection. Hassan Campbell Boy saying basically, Takashi 69 paying for protection for the goons. I mean, you know, from the goons. I mean, I guess that's cool. But I asked for nothing else. Well, I, again, I'm green. But I talked to him. I said, yo, yo, are y'all just only protecting this? Yo, we know that nigga. Yeah. We've been fucking with him before that. Sandwich. We don't care. Yeah, that's yeah. a different they, they swore to me it wasn't just a protection. Sorry, they said they fucked with him. But they saying they 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 got his back 100%. It ain't fake. Takashi 6 9 is they guy. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if he told, he told on some niggas who was trying to take him out. Yeah. You seen him lately? You don't fuck with Takashi. What has I seen him done for me lately? Uh oh. Uh oh. How many times have you seen him lately? Where they at? Um. That nigga in Puerto Rico. I mean, when I I don't think they go out to the places. Hold up. With him when he's in the city. When he's out the city, them niggas is back at home. Doing what they doing, sitting in the That's house. Exactly now what I was saying. Let me ask you a question. Go outside no more. Will Shotty be back in Brooklyn? On the nasty, dirty carpet that Kashi said he was on, you know, the dirty carpet he was laying on? Yeah. Would he be back in Brooklyn if he was still with Takashi? No, he wouldn't. No. He was no, he wouldn't be. He'll be shining. He'll be having his record label that he had just started before he had started doing the dumb stuff. I think that's the stupidest shit they could have done. Start the record label and then start trying to act super gangster. Nigga, you supposed to be trying to change for the better. Everywhere Takashi was. Takashi brought these little niggas here. They was the, this was the first time they was introduced. <laughs> Maybe they're still banging with him. <laughs> After that, if you, oh, if he, I if he, he's more like they put food on his plate too as well. Uh, I think they just put him. Besides, just a protection. He putting food in their plate. He helping the eat, bro. So of course I'm gonna do whatever you want me to do. And, and listen, if I can't support myself, I'm, I don't want to assume your age or whatever. But you also seem like somebody who's seasoned. I want. I do want to ask you: Is that like you know? Again, at the end of the day, we're all black men, and we coming from a culture where you know there's not a lot of options to make it out. Is that an acceptable reason to? Stand next to somebody who might have been. I oh, don't know. I mean, he your boy. He your of course boy. not. You got to be your own man. When you, you can't sell be nobody your... else, but you. When but you... if nobody else giving you opportunities, they're looking up to oh, everybody man. else. Man. When you so sell your soul, you yeah. pay the price. Yeah, you go, you dancing with the devil. That's, 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 that's when, once that's you that's sell your soul and you and you agree oh, with certain things, or you there was and you say this is okay. You gonna pay the price later on down yeah, the line. You can't say you a gangster and you hanging with a nigga that told on. That's everybody. right. You can't do that. That just don't make no sense. No. I can't protect you. I'm protecting you. You told on everybody and they mama. Man, and point and blank, period. Mama. Like no yeah, bullshit. Man. Like everybody want money. You feel what I'm saying? We coming from the slums. We coming from fucked up situations. We all want money. 
You feel me? But at the end of the day, when you cut from a certain cloth, you don't put no money over your integrity. You don't do that. You feel what I'm saying? When you cut from a certain cloth and you stand on certain business. I don't you know. Do y'all think uh, if Takashi came and had them same guys in the room and offered them millions of dollars to protect them, you don't think they will go? But no type of, it's, it's no price on your integrity. You feel what I'm saying? So when you associate yourself with a nigga like that, but then you try to go back to the hood and I'm a street nigga and I'm this and that. Nah, it ain't that shit can't fly. Was any ramification? Again, we don't have to spell none now, but from what I, I feel like, everything was just cool and everybody respected it. You know what I mean? Um, that, 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 that's, that's the difference between them and us. And that's the internet. And that's the and that's the internet. Cause when you go buy Birkin bags, not to cut you off, Mac. When you go buy Birkin bags and everybody laughing and joking, but it's real niggas who send back. Why this nigga on my timeline? Because they they got real people and real family and real brothers and real cousins that really did real hard time exactly. uh, and really fell behind this exactly. shit. Exactly. So my pops don't play with me about certain things and my my uncle and certain things. Yo, what you doing? Oh, that's we not doing that. Okay, you, you learn certain things early, look, so I'm glad you said that. It's a I do want to bring. I want to bring this up. And again, obviously, this is a lot of younger dudes that's doing it. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Snitching. All of that to say, he's saying his pop said ain't no snitching. Go ahead, academics, keep going. I don't know what. Again, money is the root of all evil. But I've seen this whole Birkin spree. Oh. Okay, y'all. First of all, six nine is a business, and those Birkins can be write offs as well, as long as he keep them receipts and all that stuff. But you know, six nine is a business. It's the business game. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know if I would have been buying random girls or whatever, even my girls partners like that. Birkin. I mean, I guess if I'm hella rich, I don't know. Whoever know, I don't know. You know, I be, you know, be, I don't post it, but I be just clicking. I'm like, why is she at the table getting the Birkin? I realized, oh, she dating the street. Let's be a, hold on. We not going to keep it real. It was a bunch, like, them girls who was getting them Birkins, it's not random girls. Exactly. Some of them dating some, I don't want to call nobody names. But they were getting them Birkins. They was, they getting them Birkins. And they, they was getting Birkins and they, men are street niggas. So they probably took them Birkins back to the store on 6 9 ass, but. Who knows? I mean, but what he trying to get at and what he about to get at is saying that some of them chicks go with some artists. Some of them chicks fuck with street niggas and they accepted that bag. This is why, I, like, I remember because I remember saying to him, I said, why the fuck is you going by? He said, no, I'm going to make a statement. A statement yeah. And I'm like, I'm a little shocked by that because I would believe that integrity was y'all are talking about. Man, y'all go check out DJ Academics uh, podcast. I ain't giving y'all no more. Go check it out.